Hello teams, my name is Frank Merrick. I'm the director of FIRST Robotics Competition. Welcome to the Capital City Classic, organized by three great teams, 1678, 2073, and 3859. They've got dozens of workshops and panels lined up for you over these next two days on so many great topics, and I was really honored uh, that they would ask me to, to say a few words uh, at the start of this, what's going to be a wonderful event. Hey, we've got a great season for you coming up in FIRST Robotics Competition. It probably won't include events, and we've already said that, that it's unlikely that we're going to have in-person events in, in 2021. We are going to be reevaluating that in January, just so that we can see, is, you know, has the world situation changed enough so that we can safely have events uh, with the virus situation, of course, it's, that's going on around the world. And let's just say that it, nothing really can substitute for an in-person FRC event with all the excitement and energy and just all the emotion, ups and downs and uh, that go along with it, really nothing can beat that. But we've got three great challenges, three great new challenges for you this year uh, that you're still gonna really enjoy. And for the most part, they can be done fully remotely, which means that you don't even need to get, for the most part, you don't even need to get together with your team to, to complete most of these uh, activities. Not all of them, but most of them. First up, we've got the first innovation challenge presented by Qualcomm. You're gonna get a chance to ID a real world problem, develop a solution, put together like a business model for it, and present it to a live panel of judges. And this is a very open-ended uh, challenge. All the details are gonna be coming out later. Actually, all the details will, will be coming out January 9th uh, on kickoff, but you, it's gonna be very open-ended. You're gonna be able to pick something that you're really excited about, and work on it, and, and present it to the judges. I think you're really gonna enjoy that. Next we have, the next challenge I want to talk about is Infinite Recharge at Home. It's really got two different parts. First is a skills challenge where you're going to be able to put your robot physically through its paces at your home site, your build site, or your school, or wherever you, or your garage, wherever you, wherever you have room, and show us what your robot can do in a series of sort of tasks. I don't want to get into too much about what's going to be going on there, but uh, you're going to see that at kickoff January 9th. Now, in that case, obviously, you know, you have to have team members kind of uh, getting together, but you, you know, you need to make your own choices on that. We're not saying do it or, or, or don't do it, just something you need to really think hard about whether your personal situation means that you feel like you can get to other team members. Even if you can't, though, you're still going to be able to participate in this challenge because the other component is going to be a um, judged, a live judging session where you will be able to present to your judges, inform into the present to the judges information about what your robot, what its capabilities are, how you designed it, and, and you know all the sort of uh, technical details that go go along with that. And that's something honestly you don't need your robot to kind of do. I mean, you could do with if you have some photos or some some. CAD drawings, you want to make a presentation, you could do all of that remotely as well. Uh, next up, and maybe I'm very interested to see how this is going to come out. I think this might be the most exciting element of all, but we'll, you know, we'll see. I think all of them are pretty good. But you're going to be able to submit an FRC game design to FRC. It's the game design challenge, and who doesn't want to design an FRC game? Nobody. Nobody in the world doesn't want to design an FRC game, and now is now is your chance. You're going to put together a concept. Uh, you know, we're going to have some set ways for you to kind of submit that. Every team that submits this in this particular challenge is also going to get interview from a live, uh, you know, live panel of judges. So it's not just a documentation review. You're going to present this this the, your game design concept concept to some judges. Now the top 20 or so teams from that submission level are going to go on to be interviewed by the FRC staff game designers. So there's another interview level that that you get to once you you know you you uh, uh, come out on top on this uh, this first level and. From those 20 or so, we're going to pick three or so that are going to go on our game design shelf. Now, our game design shelf isn't an actual shelf. It's an electronic shelf, of course, but it's, it's the source of our concepts that we go to every time we need to design a new game. And so what this means is that X number of years in the future, you may see your game or elements of your game 
in an actual FRC game, and, and how exciting would that be? And of course, if when that happens, we're going to be saying, by the way, we pulled this uh, uh, game off of our shelf from the game design challenge uh, competition that we had, you know, a few years ago, and and that. I'm sure that's going to be really exciting and, and satisfying for you. So in all three of these challenges, they're live interviews with judges. You're going to be talking to judges for each each three of these. And you can pick and choose which ones you want to do. You want to just focus on one? You could do that. You want to go for all three? You could do that. It's it's like a grand buffet of kind of what you'd like to pick for, what, what gets you excited and what um, motivates you to, to go, go forward with this. On top of these three challenges, of course, we're going to have our traditional submitted awards like Chairman's Award and Dean's List and Woody Flowers Award. There's no way we're leaving those out. And so there's still going to, even if we don't have in-person events, there's still going to be lots of fun and excitement for you to uh, uh, join in. So, like I said, we may not be having in-person events, but there's so much for you to do. Uh, for more details on this, what you can do is go check out the FRC blog that's titled Detailed Information About the 2021 Season. There you'll find a link to the PDF. That PDF link will show you the different names of the awards and what types of awards are available in each of these challenges, as well as some other details. Now, it doesn't give out the full details on what you're going to be doing and what we're asking you for, because we're saving that up for, for kickoff. So kickoff is like you're going to find out. What is this skills challenge? What do I have to do in the skills challenge? Or you're going to find out on January 9th, and I hope everyone turns in. I hope, I hope everyone tunes in, and I hope everyone joins us for the 2020 win season, for it's, it's going to be uh, such fun. Also, I got a note from one of the organizers that asked me to make an award announcement, and I said I would ha be happy to do that. I'm just going to read off what he had sent to me so you can see what award we're giving out here. Capital City Classic has always awarded one outstanding contributor as Volunteer of the Year. Traditionally, this has been an adult who would be recognized during the event. This year, of course, is not very normal, but we would like to maintain aspects of our traditions, which I think is a great approach. Keep those traditions going. In this case, though, our Volunteer of the Year is a student, Apoorv Mishra of Team 1678, who as the Fall Workshop Coordinator has done the bulk of the work to organize the actual workshops, of which there are 30. Since we have no other good opportunity for an award ceremony, we're asking you if you can announce Apoorv as a recipient of this year's Capital City Classic Volunteer, and I'm happy to do so. Congratulations, Apoorv. It sounds like you did a lot of work putting this huge uh, workshop, set of workshops and panels together. I'm sure it was very well uh, deserved, this award. And volunteers, of course, are the lifeblood of FIRST, and we couldn't do it with without you or any of the other many volunteers that contributed to making this event, plus the entire FRC season happen. Thanks, everyone. Great luck. Have a good, have lots of fun these next two days, and hopefully someday I'll see you out at events again. Take care.